Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anish Pashel and in this video I'll be telling you about 10 books which I've read across my life which has changed the course of my life as well as taught me some lessons which were very difficult to come by otherwise and they have made me the person who I am today and I hope by sharing these books with you guys the students who are watching this video really really take benefit and gain the values the books are trying to impart especially if you're a person who is from the age group of let's say 16 to 25 these books will be of absolute most benefit to you because I'm currently 22 and these books really helped me for the last Last five or six years so let's start the first book that I want to suggest to you is called as mad money journey and this is a book which will help you simplify your finances as a student so the story goes like this it's a doctor who has gone into an economic crash and then he goes to different events throughout the world with his friends and on each event he learns a different story about how should he manage money and I think it's one of the most beautifully written narratives which will teach you how to take control of your money as well as how to save and invest it it's a book which will not tell you ki yaar, tumne paise is stock mein dalna chahiye, is bond mein dalna chahiye. rather it will tell you what are the things where you can diversify your income at and what are the things where you can save money from so mad money journey is also a special book in my heart because my teacher my professor dr Rohan kandelwal actually recommended the book to me while we were talking in 2022 and it has been stuck with me since that and i would feel like this is the book which you guys would benefit a lot from the second book that i actually want to suggest to you is called as ikigai so ikigai is a book which i read i think three or four years back and it is a book that I keep coming back to whenever I feel lost in life because Ikigai will tell you exactly what you want and why you want it and why you're passionate about it and it is especially helpful if you're a student uh, who is actually very very confused as to which branch should you select which uh, field do you want to go in do you want to be a doctor in the future engineer mechanic or whatever in the future and Ikigai is something which will help you narrow it down so it's a story about a person who goes to Japan and in Japan he just goes and explores places and at the same time he's telling us about the secrets of how Japanese people live so long and the reason that they live so long is something called as Ikigai so this Ikigai talks about how if you perfectly balance the things that you're passionate about the things that you're good at and the things that can earn you money all of these things combined you will lead a very very happy healthy and progressive life and if you're an anime lover there are certain locations of japan as well which you'll find really really amazing and i think it would be an amazing book if you give a read to it the third book that i want to recommend to you is something called as four hour work week so a lot of the principles of what i talk about on this channel are derived from this book of four hour work week the basic premise is that the author talks about how he can work just four hours in a week and earn the same amount and live the same more productive life than people who are working 60 to 80 hours per week and that is a very very huge amount and I would say that this book it teaches you how to manage your time how to delegate tasks which you think are very very time consuming for you in exchange for money because your time is actually more essential than money so I would say that this book is really really essential for people who are sort of business minded sort of entrepreneurs and people who actually want to do more things at once for example if you're a student you are very interested in music you are also interested in video editing you're also interested in going and playing cricket and also you have to study so at this point if you read this book you will understand how to manage all of this and how to diversify your own mind in a, uh, so that it is able to manage everything and the idea behind this four hour work week is that you can do small small jobs and they will earn you a lot of money which will give you access to living at, at wherever place you want in the world and working less so you can do choose to do whatever you want with your time so ultimate freedom of time and space the fourth book on my list is a very spiritual one it's the book which i read the most recently and it's the book which have had the most profound impact on my mental health than any other book which I've read so far. So before I tell you the name of the book, let me tell you about ki kya hua tha. Whenever you're in a dark stage, be it your exams ka preparation nahi ho raha, maybe your marks have plateaued out or maybe you have had a breakup or maybe somebody did something bad to you. You're always going into a bad state. Sometimes you feel like why is this happening only to me? And all of this during the times of despair, you, you, you really, really feel bad. So during these times, this book really helped out quite a lot to me and the name of this book it's a very famous book it's called as Bhagavad Gita so of course I as a normal student cannot read Bhagavad Gita it's written in Sanskrit it's like thousands of years old so I read this book which is a derivation of Bhagavad Gita called as My Gita it's very very small it's I guess roughly 200 pages you can read it in just one go and this book will make you mentally strong and make you think ki whatever is happening is happening for a reason be it good or bad everything that is happening right now maybe you're watching this video this watching this video is happening for a reason I'm not here to preach a religion or something at all but I think that every person should give this a read because it talks about the 18 different chapters and all of these 18 chapters have different specific entities tied to them the next one is called as deep work deep work I've already made a video on it but the book talks about how you can extremely focus your mind into one task and one task only for example you were in a sitting in an exam hall and those three hours of exam
एग्जाम्स यू डिड नॉट रियली केयर अबाउट की टीचर्स इन इंडिविजुअल लेटर्स क्या चुगली कर रहा है बिकॉज एवरी सिंगल एग्जाम दैट है जो इंडिविजुअल लेटर्स होते हैं वो एक मेक से बात करते हैं इट्स वेरी डिस्ट्रैक्टिंग सो यू डोंट रियली केयर अबाउट वॉट द टीचर्स आर सेंग वॉट इज हैपनिंग आउटसाइड की कंस्ट्रक्शन हो रहा है कि क्या हो रहा है यू आर जस्ट फोकस्ड ऑन वन थिंग दट इज राइटिंग योर पेपर एंड वंस दैट इज पेपर राइटिंग इज डन यू फील लाइक तीन घंटे तीन मिनट जैसे निकल गए द फर्स्ट हाफ ऑफ द बुक एक्चुअली टॉक्स अबाउट वॉट इज डीप वर्क एंड वॉट इज सुपरफिशियल वर्क एंड हाउ डू यू नीड टू डू बोथ ऑफ दीज टूगेदर एंड द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द बुक एक्चुअली टॉक्स अबाउट हाउ यू कैन एक्चुअली डू डीप वर्क सो आई वुड से इट्स अ वेरी वेरी हाईली रिकमेंडेड बुक फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज यू कैन डायरेक्टली अपलाई दिस टू योर लाइफ वेन एवर यू आर स्टडिंग फॉर एन एग्जाम बाय द वे इफ यू आर इंजॉइंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज प्लीज मेक श्योर टू दब्सक्राइब बटन मेकिंग दिस वीडियो टेक्स अप अलॉट ऑफ टाइम एफर्ट एंड एनर्जी एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग इन जस्ट टू सेकंड वुड मेक अप फॉर ऑल ऑफ दट ऑल राइट मूविंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट बुक इज द पावर ऑफ दिस सब conscious mind i was i guess in class 8th when i first read it and the book came out i think 4 or 5 years before that so it's an ancient book i would say bahut hi purani book hai but it's extremely beautiful and what the power of subconscious mind taught me was to actually know my own potential that means the, it talks about the consciousness and how there are different parts to it there's the conscious mind the subconscious the unconscious mind uh, you cannot actually reach the unconscious mind at all but there is the subconscious mind which is present which is taking care of your breathing taking care of your respiration or taking care of eye movements the position of your tongue the git digestion all of that and it talks about how you can actually sort of access that subconscious mind it's also the place where memories are formed and how you can access that subconscious mind and store a lot of information as well as be greater is what that book taught me and it also gave me a lot of motivation at that same time when i was in class 8 ki yaar even though i'm not getting good marks as a class 8 student because main padhai nahi karta tha <coughs> I do have potential in me because I have a subconscious mind. So yes, it is sort of an inspiration of a book and it's a very old book, but at the same time I felt it to be extremely relevant to all the audience who is watching this. All right. Moving on to the next book, it's called as The Secret. So ye yahi pe rakhiye secret. So you can see that is the secret right next to Macbeth. Uh the book one of secret is what I want to talk about. So this book actually talks about this one secret which was known to all the geniuses of the world, the people who built the pyramids to Albert Einstein to Isaac Newton. To every great person who has ever been born they knew this one secret which the audience did not know and how the secret was spread through only the noble people that were on the top and the secret is basically something called as the law of attraction okay so the law of attraction it's a very controversial book but i'll tell you what the law of attraction states the law of attraction states that whatever you have in your mind be it positive or negative you are attracting that if you are thinking i'm going to get fat after eating this food then you will definitely get fat after eating this food if you feel like i will gain some muscles after After going to the gym, you will gain muscles. There are certain examples which the book presents, which are irrefutable. Even though it is controversial, when I read it, I applied one aspect of this book to my mind permanently, and that aspect was to have positive thoughts. Because if you are having negative thoughts, you are attracting all the bad things to yourself. And if you are having positive thoughts, that means you are attracting the good thing towards yourself. And that is what really made an impact on me. Because my SST ka exam tha, mujhe yaad hai, and I was not really prepared. So my mind me yehi sochte gaya, mujhe pure marks aage, pure marks aage, and thank. Thankfully, the paper also came easy. So from that point onwards, what I've completely stopped having is negative thoughts. Book number eight, which I've got, is kind of cheesy one. It's uh, one of the books that we very firstly read when uh, we are children, and the book is called as The Fault in Our Stars. Yeah, I know, I know, uh, a lot of people in the comments are typing right now. So I did not want this video exactly to be productivity books or whatever. I wanted to be the books which I really loved over the last 10-15 years. So The Fault in Our Stars was one of my first uh, sort of novel, wali love story, wali book, and it taught me what. exactly love is and this it's a book which has a lot of twists and a lot of turns there are certain moments which will leave you crying and there are certain moments which will make you feel extremely happy and there are certain moments where you actually feel what love is so hazel grace is the person who is uh, present as the main character and bahut bahut kuch hota i won't spoil the story for you but at the same time you can also watch its movie if you don't want to read the book book on the ninth number is by kate flanders it is called as the year of less so it talks about how a lady who was in debt and who was very addicted to spending on things okay like buying this buying that jo bhi magazine utha rahi hai usse le lo cheeze uh, actually one day took a resolution ki i'm going to pay my debt very soon and i'll also stop impulsively buying and this person documented that entire journey through a book and you will when you read this book it will teach you exactly what is minimalism how you can have more values in buying and consuming less so i think it's a very beautifully written book when i read the book what i felt was i am reading a vlog so vlog upon youtube pe dekhte hai but 
the book itself feels like reading a vlog and it also talks about how to limit your spending because nowadays sales aata rehti hai mintra ka aata hai amazon the great indian festival you know everything is off your bank account is half there are other books by kate also which i have read but this one is the best one lastly the 10th the 10th book which i've got over here is atomic habits so this is i guess one of the most important books written in the productivity world unless and until up ali abdul ki book aayegi fir wo most important ho jayegi so atomic habits basically talks about consistency and how very very tiny changes in your life will lead to dramatic results for example if you just start exercising for 20 minutes a day 20 minutes or 24 hours is nothing right it's not even 5% and then you look at one year later you will feel that you are much fitter you would be able to get a good routine you would be able to run faster you would be able to have a good stamina and that all happened because you did an exercise for just 20 minutes and you did it for a year so that is what the atomic habits book actually talks about it also tells you how you can be much more consistent with whatever you are doing in life and i think it's very very important so yeah this were all the 10 recommendations of books which i have for you if you did enjoy this video please please subscribe my channel we are very very close to a million let's see how fast we get there because i'm tired of the comments saying ki yaar you deserve a million subscribers so you can definitely subscribe and make those commenters go away and make sure to hit the like button on your way out thank you so much it's about dr anish pachel and i'll see you in the next one stay safe stay healthy and stay happy bye bye